But what is it really like to swim in a nuclear pool? The fuel used by nuclear reactors tends to be of above average radioactivity. Given that water is a good source of radiation cooling and shielding, fuel from a nuclear reactor is often stored at the bottom of a pool until a set time. Once the reactivity of the fuel is low enough, it is moved from the water into dry casks. As shown in this image, the storage casks are stored at the bottom of the pool. One doesn't have to worry about heat, even though the temperature of the pool is higher than that of the average pool. The temperature in the pool can be as high as 50 Celsius, but usually stays within the 25 to 35 Celsius range. In a nuclear pool, the radiation that comes off spent fuel is cut in half in every 7 centimeters of water. A recent report highlighted the most radioactive regions in the nuclear pool as shown here. The deeper one goes into the pool, the higher the risk of radiation. A simple swim to the bottom and barely touching the surface of a fuel canister could plausibly be fatal to you. But as long as one's swim chronicles are limited to the top of the pool, the radiation one is exposed to is just as much as one would get walking around. Oddly enough, swimming underwater close to the top of a nuclear pool protects you from average background dose radiation. Imagine getting less radiation exposure in a nuclear pool than one would get from walking down a road. Let's keep in mind that this is in a perfect situation. In a case where there is a wear on the fuel rod casks, there might be a discharge of fission products in the water. On average, the pool is relatively clean and safe enough that one can swim in it. But while it is safe enough for you to swim in it, it still has radioactive components strong enough that the water can be bottled and sold. These fuel pools are routinely cleaned by trained divers, which is why we know that they are safe to swim in. The divers have to be extremely careful though, as sometimes things don't work out as they should. In 2010, while a diver was maintaining a nuclear pool, he spotted tubing at the bottom of the pool and asked his superiors what he was to do. Upon instruction, he put it in his tool basket and headed for the top. Due to the noise in the pool, the diver did not hear his radiation alarm. Once the tool basket was removed from the water, the radiation alarm in the room went off. The basket was swiftly immersed back in the water and the diver removed. Investigation of the diver's dosimeter badge showed a higher than a normal whole body dose of radiation with the most concentration in his right hand. The unidentified tube was discovered to be the protective casing of a radiation monitor which has been mistakenly cut off. The piece came off a capsule that was being sealed off in 2006, hence the tubing has been sitting exposed for 4 years. The radioactive levels of the tube were so high that if the diver put it in his shoulder bag, he might have died. Do you remember that water has cooling and shielding properties? Well, that was what protected him, leaving only his hand, which was the closest to the tube, with a heavy dose of radiation. Luckily, hands are more resistant to radiation than the internal organs. In summary, it is quite safe to swim in a nuclear pool, so long as you don't pick up strange items or go to the bottom. But also a quick reminder, swimming isn't the problem, it is finding a reactor pool someone would let you swim in. Hey there, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one of our videos.